Good morning and welcome to Station 3. Today, we are reading Interstellar Cinderella, written by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Meg Hunt, with permission from Chronicle Books. Let's start the story. Once upon a, a planetoid, amid her tools and so, uh, sprockets, a girl named Cinderella dreamed of fixing fancy rockets. She fixed the robot dishwasher and zoom brooms and care, but late each night she snuck away and studied ship repair. One day on her wicked stepsisters came dashing in, excited, the Prince's, Prince's Royal Space Parade, our family was invited. I wish that you could come, my dear, alas, no room. Although why don't you fix that broken ship and fly it to the show? My toolbox, Cinderella cried, we're stranded here, I guess. But Mugtoy the mouse sent out a cosmic SOS. I'm here, your fairy god robot. I'll make you a brand new tool. You'll need a space at two, of course, atomic blue and with some jewels. This power gem will speed your ship across the starry sky. It only lasts till midnight. After that, your ship won't fly. Oh, thank you, Cinderella said. She quickly fixed the rocket, then tucked the so sonic socket wrench inside her space pocket. She zoomed past stars and nebulous and parked beside the moon. The space parade was glorious. Each starship made a swoon. At last the royal ship approached. Her heart was filled with yearnings. The ship of Cinderella's dreamed, but heavens, what was burning? The princess spaceship jerked and hissed and spewed a cloud of grit. The prince hopped out, oh blast, what now? My chief mechanic quit. But interstellar Cinderella knew just what to do. She zip zapped with her socket wrench. The ship was good as new. The prince invited her aboard, last stop, Gallica Hall. He said, I hope you'll be my help, hope you'll be, join me to the gravity free ball. They talked for hours of rocket ships. The time went whizzing by. Then Cinderella saw the clock and said, I have to fly. But wait, the prince called after her. Please tell me how to find. The girl was gone, but she left her socket wrench behind. The prince sent out a transmission to the farthest edge of space. I'll search the cosmos for her. How I wish I'd seen her face. The prince's ship, Gristle screeched. Her sister squealed in fear. The prince won't marry one of us if Cinderella's here. Her mother said, don't worry. He won't find her in this house. I've trapped her in the attic with that useless robot mouse. The princess cargo door revealed a broken craft within. The girl I seek can fix a ship, so who'd like to begin? He gave the socket and wrench to one, then the other. Alas, they couldn't fix the ship, and neither could the mother. Cinderella struggled, but the space rope held her tight till Mugroid robotic teeth cut through it in one bite. The ship is, the ship, it's leaving. Wait, what's this? She made a fast repair, then strapped the rusty jetpack on and blasted through the air. She landed right beside the prince that wrenches mind, she cried. She quickly fixed and aligned the ship 
the princess said, the prince said, be my bride. She thought over carefully, her family watched in panic. I'm far too young for marriage, but I'll be your chief mechanic. Amid her fleet of sparkling ships and friends both old and new, a joyful, joyful Cinderella cried, my stars, dreams do come true. That is Interstellar Cinderella. Thank you for joining us at Station 3 for virtual reading. Mm -hmm.